That's your nice and easy. Shut it down! Oh, whoa now! Easy! See? Here we go. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. Just look at this redhead shorty. The Wild Bay Mustang is strong, fast, and exceptionally brave for their size. Also a very iconic American horse, especially in the American Southwest. They are only available in the wild in Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's go get one. And Arthur is running to this horse location to show you how confident he is that the horse will be there. So leave camp and head for the smoke. Let's go for a run. It's a nice day. And of course we'll check out the horses at the NPC camps, Shire this time. I thought it might have been one of those few spotted Appaloosas you guys seem to love so much. Now that second campsite is the O'Driscoll camp. We will avoid them as all we have right now is our cattlemen. We're here for Mustangs. Here is our spawn point. There's a horse, not our horse, but it's a good sign. And that smoke in the distance is William, a nice stranger who Arthur should help at some point. And we can barely see him, but there's our next horse, a wild bay mustang. Here's the location between the L and the A of the Heartlands. You can also find the Grulo Dunn here as well. If you don't find any Mustangs, leave the area and come back or exit the game and reload. Taming wild horses requires patience. Don't rush the horse. Don't rush any wild horse, but especially don't rush a Mustang. They will accelerate and be halfway across the map if you approach with any hint of aggression. And it looks like a storm's coming. Let's watch Arthur get this horse. Easy. Easy now. Let me have a look at you. Stay calm. It's okay. That's your nice and easy. Shut it down! Oh, whoa! Easy! See? Here we go. Now, that wasn't so bad, was it? If you
you are having difficulty with wild horses, practice on easy ones first, like this strawberry roan Tennessee walker in the same location. <laughs> easy now. <laughs> easy now. <laughs> Back to the wild bay. Let's give him a peppermint and a raspberry and take a look at him. You're okay, boy. Mustangs are all muscle and built for speed, and I do like how his bangs hang in front of his eyes even though we're going to put a mohawk on him. Also note the very distinctive back stripe or dorsal stripe, unique to this breed. And here's the exact location where we found this horse. Let's get him back to the stable for a haircut and a review. For me, a horse video isn't complete until you see the horse at the stable, home and dry, warm and safe. Mustangs have essentially been in America since the Spanish brought them over in the 1500s. That's over 500 years of history. The breed is actually older than the country and run wild and free to this day in the American Southwest. And as I said in the introduction, this is probably the most iconic American horse and representative of the spirit and freedom of the untamed West. There's a reason why Ford named their classic car after this horse in 1964, and by doing so they reintroduced this brave and speedy horse to the rest of the world and sealed this horse's status in the American cultural landscape. At level 4, the Wild Bay Mustang comes in at a very respectable 7 and 7. He's classified as a war slash workhorse, and he is a brave, loyal horse, excellent at both hunting and missions. He wants to work and he likes to fight. In many ways, he's a lot like Arthur in personality and temperament, except Arthur isn't three feet tall. But if you do like the smaller horses, you will need a Mustang in your stable. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself.